was the day I've been waiting for for a very long time. Raphael, how you doing? What's going on, Joseph? How are they hanging? Um, hanging to the left. How you doing? Low and to the left. What are you sipping on Everclear? <laughs> no, oh, it's water. Oh. Mm. Uh, so how's New York? You know what? It's getting better, unless you're counting all the murders and shooting sprees that are going on. It's open season out here, but whatever. What are you yeah. going to do? I don't think I even watched our show last week. A lot of but people came out. You know how many people watch? Eight. You pay attention. Wow. Was, was it really eight? Was it really eight? It was eight. It was eight. <laughs> it was eight freaking people. You actually, it seems to me that you actually went on there, but you was like, nah, forget that. Yeah. And a lot of people did the same thing. Mm. I, I think what it is is that they're too long. People lose so? interest. Yeah. Nah. Well. Gotta give the rapid fire type of version. It's too long. Is that what the women say to you? All the time, Joseph. But they never lose interest, do they, Raphael? Not at all. So what you do this weekend? Anything good? Did uh, you go out? Into, did you go out into the woods with your buddies and huff some paint? <laughs> we do that on Fridays. I, I can I can see you and your buddies, you know, hey, let's all get together, go over to them woods, huff some spray <laughs> paint we got at Home Depot. <laughs> Well, how's uh, how's you know how's New York? I know. But... I like how you didn't say no. <laughs> <laughs> so how's New York? I mean, besides everybody getting shot, um, it's it's going to be another hectic uh, weekend. Lots of shooting. I didn't shoot anybody, but I thought about it. <laughs> Did you go over there at the Trump Plaza and see the the yellow paint? <laughs> no, I did not. But I did see it. Uh, they, they painted another one right in front of the courthouse. I work near the courthouse. So from my window, I could see that they were painting. And they painted every letter in a fancy new bright color. You know. Where's wow. your T-shirt? Wearing your Black Lives Matter T-shirt? It's in the closet. Mm. A lot of that stuff is in the closet, huh, Joseph? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Joseph. So you wanted me to come up with a top 10... The best male yeah. actor, am I right? And we're not including women. The top, the top ten actors and actresses of all time. Uh okay. So here's the thing: I didn't really take into consideration. Hey, who's the little gig? Subscribe to Cameron's pleasure shop. What language is that? It's Chinese. Um, what do you subscribe to Cameron's treasure shop? Wow, you're going to have to delete that bit entirely. <laughs> Who's in charge over there? Put him on the phone. <laughs> Is it the little kid? The little boy? <laughs> He's running things over there. <laughs> uh, uh, so, uh, back, back to New York real fast before we get started with the top ten. Go. Okay, so is anybody upset with the mayor? Up in New York, I mean, or so. I mean, my, my question is this: I don't want to get too political because this is not a political show. But are all y'all so liberal that y'all can't tell that the, the city's going downhill, or everybody's okay with it? Um, no, I, I think the consensus is everybody hates the mayor De Blasio. He's been pretty useless. He doesn't know what he's doing. Everything he touches turns to shit. Um. And the whole city is just bleeding money. Now, of course, you can blame it on COVID because that is a big reason. But um, just regular city stuff isn't working the way it should. And he's well, making it work. He, he defunded the police department over a billion dollars. Yeah, um, but that's what I was going to ask. Like, I mean, New York, I mean, are y'all so liberal that y'all can't tell that, uh, you know, crime happens and you won't need the cops? Yeah, well, I, I don't think he thought more than two minutes ahead into the future when he came up with this brilliant idea. But it was pretty much forced upon down his throat by Black Lives Matter and the whole movement. Um, they're planning on doing that in every major city. Well, um, I mean, 
I, I, I was telling somebody uh, when that cop in Atlanta. Right. You know, the one that shot that. Uh, the Wendy's? That, that, the, the guy, he shot the guy at the Wendy's. He basically, the guy at the Wendy's beat the crap out of these two cops, stole yeah, the tape, the turned around and pointed the tape at the cop, and the cop, before he could shoot his partner, he shot the 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 guy and killed him. And they are charging him with mur not only murder, but felony murder, which means he can go to the electric chair. So I'm sitting there thinking to myself, and then the district attorney came on and actually said that the cop, you know, the guy was being, you know, he wasn't being belligerent or nothing like that. I start, it started off like that, but then he left out the part where the cop, the guy beat up the two officers and stole the stun gun. And then he said that the stun gun is not a lethal weapon, so he should have no right to kill the, uh, the gentleman. Well, two weeks prior to that, the district attorney was had a press conference saying that the stun gun was a lethal weapon. And I was sitting there thinking to myself, like, the city of Atlanta is going to get sued. You can take, take race out of the equation, take Black Lives Matter out of the equation, take politics, take the fact that the mayor is a Democrat, take that the district attorney is a Democrat, take all that as a consideration. When that cop, if he gets caught, I mean, I mean, he may not get off. I mean, this is politics. Politics is a dangerous game. If he does get off, there's going to be a lawsuit. That's all I'm saying. So anybody watching who disagrees and says, oh, you, you don't support the movement. Look, I, I believe everybody should have a right in America and not live in fear of dying. With that said, you if you have common sense, if you saw the video, that man is going to sue if he gets off. And the city of Atlanta is going to lose a lot of money. I don't know how, how he'll sue. I don't know the law against it. But he's going to sue. And I know right now a lot of people in New York, this guy's to the point in New York where officers can't even retire. Is that is that true? Yeah, well, it's it's not that they can't retire; it's that they they're they're cutting down on the amount of guys that can retire at one time because they're leaving in droves. People are leaving the city in droves. You know, it's expensive to live here as it is, and now with the crime the way it is, it's you know for a lot of people it's not worth staying. Can I ask you an important question, Joseph? Sure, Raphael. Is it not true that you got a cease and desist letter from YouTube and the WWE because they too disapproved of your list, your top 10 list? They said it was so ridiculously dumb and crazy that they wanted you to get that shit off the air immediately. Yeah, I did. I I I, did, I forgot. I forgot I told you about it. Yes, I got a letter saying that I got hit. I don't know the whole YouTube copyright infringement laws or I don't know if that was a strike. I don't know what it was. So so what would qualify an actor to be on the top 10 list? All right. So I'm saying it's got to be one longevity, how long they've been in the business, their quality of work. Um, what else? Their potential to make money in the movie business because nobody's going to hire somebody that, you know, do you remember, you ever watched Seinfeld? Uh, my wife does. I, I, maybe once or twice. All right. You still sipping on that Everclear? Why are you chewing it? <laughs> Is that an Alabama thing? Man, shut up and get to the list. Did you go out and huff some paint in the woods with your buddies this weekend? A lot of paint huffing. You, you, you get the rosy cheeks. You get the little gin blossom thing going on. You've been doing a lot of bit of booze and Joseph. Yes. Oh. Get drunk, beat the kids. Because <laughs> they don't listen. <laughs> anyway, so my number 10 in my top 10 list of best male actors of all time. Actually, not all time, but of this time. Of Wait, our time. Well, come out. The all male? 
Yes, Joseph, because I believe that the women should have their own list. I'm very, very pro-women, Joseph. Very, very pro-women. That's not being very pro-women if you leave them off the list. Well, I'm giving them their own list, which is much better than being on another person's list. So you're saying that they're not as they they get their own list. So basically, they're not as good to be on this list. No. Well, think of it like the NBA. Sure, there's the NBA, but then there's also the WNBA strictly for women. So you're saying the women that in the WNBA cannot play in the NBA? I think the NBA is saying that women can't play in the NBA. That just sexes. You know, that's a good argument, Joseph, but uh, it doesn't really mean much when they have their own league. You been helping paint and getting a referee? No, not this week, Joseph. You know how hard it is to get paint around here now? <laughs> you know, you want some of this Everclear? I, I do. I don't have anything to drink. Number 10, Raphael. Number 10. The guy who's been a hit maker since the 80s. I think his Lost Boy poster was over your bed when you were a child, or maybe it was your sister's. I don't remember. Kiefer Sutherland, the man from 24, your favorite show. Remember Jack Bauer? He was also in Young Guns. Also in The Distinguished Gentleman, I believe, or something like that, where he was a congressman. It's like the last guy to run the U.S. because the president was killed. You know what I'm talking about? Anyway, let's move on to number nine, Joseph. Oh, 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 I, don't get a, I don't get a say. I gave you a say. I don't get a say? Sure. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. You don't like Kiefer Sutherland? I, I, you know, Young Guns is actually my favorite Western, but... Top 10 actors of all time. You chose Kiefer Sutherland? As my number 10, yes. And I stand by that pick. Kiefer, if he were here right now, which he's not, would say yes, he belongs on this list. And so does his father, by the way. But he'd be my honorable mention. Notice how I say honorable mention. Which you left off. Number nine, Raphael. <laughs> number nine. One of your cousins from the island. Benicio Del Toro. You may remember him from such hits as License to Kill, the James Bond movie, and a bunch of other hits he's done along the way. Have you seen the Sicario series? Where he's a Mexican cartel hitman? Well, listen, you put the wife and kids to bed tonight, get some lotion and the tissue, and go rent that movie, Joseph. You ready for number eight, Joseph? Are you crying? Do I get a say in the freaking list? I, yes. give, I ask you every time on the list. I say, Raphael, you're in. What's your what do you what are your memories on this person? What are your memories on that? And you don't even give me a, a time to say. Can I retort your stupid number nine? Can I yeah. please? Yes. I don't know who the hell you're talking about. You don't know who Benicio Del Toro is? The guy from the werewolf movie? Wolf? But one with Jack Nicholson? No, not that one. The good one. He was no. also in the Marvel movie as the collector. What's the matter with you? He was on the what? He was in the Avengers movie as the collector. The oh. Thanos kills. Yeah, okay, I know who he is. Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, he played in uh, the hunt, the hunter with Tommy Lee Jones. Or yes, that's right. Where he was like a soldier who went on a killing spree. Right. You should be in the yard right now. Uh, are you ready? are you ready for number eight, Joseph? Yeah, I cannot wait to hear what number eight is. Another hero of yours. You know who I'm talking about. That's right. I'm talking about the Hoff, David Hasselhoff. From Knight Rider and Baywatch. Remember you used to wear your bikini and run on the beach? Singing the stupid song from Baywatch? Embarrassing me in Alabama? That's why David Hasselhoff. Think of his longevity. The guy's been on TV since the 80s. And he's, he's been on Broadway. He's got a hit record, Joseph. He himself practically brought down the Berlin Wall by himself. 
I need some in his Everclear. So what's your take on David Hasselhoff, Joseph? My number eight. I think you're retarded. Number what? seven. <laughs> okay, number seven. Number seven, sadly, is now deceased. He died tragically from a drug overdose. A lot of people say you kind of look like him, but he was a little lighter. I'm talking about Philip Seymour Hoffman. He was a bad guy in the Mission Impossible movie. He was okay. also a master. You know what? One, fuck you for telling me I look like him. But you know what? I would put him on maybe not a top 10, but if I had to say top 20 actors of all time. I would probably put him on there. Why would you say that, Joseph? Because he made a lot of good work. I agree. That's why he's my number seven. My number six, Joseph. I know your hands are shaking. One of your favorite actors and your enemy when it comes to politics. One and only Robert De Niro. For his longevity. Did you see The Irishman? Yes, I did. Did you notice how Robert De Niro is probably pushing 80 right now? But He's in his early 70s, actually. But All right, whatever. But in The Irishman, all he had to do was dye his hair black, and now he's 30. No need for CGI. And what number is this, number six? Yes, he's my number six. Well, you know, okay. So, first of all, I would say he probably belongs in the top five. So... <laughs> Now, now we're starting to see. Now I'm starting to get some credibility to your list because Robert De Niro, yes, one of the greatest actors of all time. I will actually put him in the top five somewhere. All right. Well, he, he barely eked out at number six. My number five, which could easily be swapped for number six, mostly for his action movies and his longevity, even despite. Him being canceled before cancel culture was a thing. I'm talking about Melvin Gibson's. Melvin Gibson? You mean Mel Gibson? That's the one, Joseph. Look at that. You stole it right out of my mouth. Joseph, what's that growing on your lip? Is that uh, what I think, Joseph? The what now? What's, what's that growing on your bottom lip, Joseph? Is that what I think it is, Joseph? It's not what you. It's not what you think Holy it is. Moses, what's his name? I need <laughs> names, Joseph. <laughs> Listen, you got the gift that keeps on giving. Where'd you get it? It ain't. It ain't Skittles. <laughs> Actually, a scratchy, you idiot. You, but... you got a cat that scratched you on the lip? Huh? You got a cat that scratched you on the lip? I. It says a scratch. I don't know how I got it. Yeah, I. I know how you got it. <laughs> you go to rest stops. <laughs> you found the glory hole on the highway once. <laughs> well, so yeah. we're, we're, we're we're ready for number four. You ready for number four? Take another sip of that juice. Hang on, hang on. I forgot who was number five. Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson from Lethal Weapon. Okay, so let me ask you this, Raphael. Go. No, no, take your time. Put him on the top five. Why did I put him on the top five? Yeah, I get it. Uh, Brave, he was a director. He's been he directed classics, Braveheart, Passion of the Christ. The uh, he's played in *Lethal Weapons*. He was Hamlet, like, but then he's playing a lot of Shakespeare movies. Did you uh, see Apocalypto? Huh? Did you see Apocalypto? Yes, I did actually. Yes. He Did directed that. Uh, so, I mean, why the top five? Why why did he beat out Robert De Niro? Because he was in The Expendables, Joseph. That's right. Mel Gibson was in The Expendables. You don't even remember. Yeah. That's why he made the top five? You're damn right, Joseph. He deserves to be on a list. He wasn't, even, he wasn't even in the good one. He was in part three. How dare you, Joseph, speak ill of Mr. Gibson's. Number one, the first one was the good one. The other two kind of suck. 
Oh, oh, like even the kids don't agree with you. I mean, did you see? Did you see the John Clown Van Dam? Like, I had goosebumps when I saw the Sylvester Stallone John Clown Van Dam fight, and then it was just like so one sided. I was like, oh, really? You could have done so much more. I agree. I mean, John Claw Van Dam versus Sylvester Stallone, and it was just like a, a minute fight, basically. Well, what did you want, Joseph? I wanted the, the biggest fight of all time. You had Sylvester Stallone versus John Claw Van Dam. I mean, mm-hmm. if this was a, a fight, I would probably bought that fight on pay per view. But it was right. nothing. It was like. Shh. Sylvester Stallone just beat the shit out of him, and then it was like end of the movie. And then part three at the end, the one that Mel Gibson was in, it was just like basically there was a shootout at the end, and all they kept doing is have little catchphrases so you can get kind of goosebumps. And right. it was like, can you just start killing people? Why? What's up with this little Arnold Schwarzenegger trying to steal this line from this other person and? And it's taking lines from other movies. It got stupid. And I was like, no, the first one was good. The other two kind of was like, mm. But anyway, Mel Gibson, number five. Number, number four, rapper. There you go. Number four. Are you ready, Joseph? Yes. All right. All right. All right. I'm talking about Matthew McConaughey, Joseph. Did you, just, did you just put Matthew McConaughey in the top five of all time greatest actors? Of all time great actors. Did you see Dallas Buyers Club, Joseph? Yes. You did? You pervert, you sick twisted freak. <laughs> Is that the one where he the gay guy trying to find a cure for AIDS or something? Yeah, he's a gay guy in Alabama struggling to get through life with his Alabama hat. And discovers he's got AIDS when he thinks he a cat scratched him on the lip. It turns <laughs> out he's got the monster. I'm ready for number three, Joseph. Wait, hold on, hold on. Why Ma- Matthew McConaughey? I have to know. Okay, I'm going to say because of his body of work, which is extensive, and the different types of characters that he's played. Like, for example, if you look at Matt Damon. He's pretty much the same character in every goddamn movie he does. Same thing with Johnny Depp, although Johnny Depp is pretty impressive. But, like, if you've seen one of his movies, you've seen them all. Wait, whoa, ca- whoa, 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 whoa. Matthew McConaughey plays the same guy in every single movie. What you, are just sa- what you just said is basically Matthew McConaughey's body of work. He plays the same guy in every movie. So does Denzel Washington. How dare you, Joseph? I, you I seen... like this. I like Matthew McConaughey. Did you ever but see True Detective? There is something he doesn't play the same guy in every single movie. Did you see True Detective? Yes. You don't that think season... he was amazing in that? Huh? You don't think he was amazing in that? He was amazing. So it was really uh, what's his name? Uh, what was the guy? Woody Harrison, the guy from Cheers, white man can't what? jump. Yeah, Woody Harrelson. Amazing. Are you ready for number three, Joseph? I'm still trying to get caught. No, I'm not. Matthew McConaughey beat out Robert De Niro? Yes. What the? All right. Number three. Number three. Low-key actor, but once again, he's been in some really good stuff, and his longevity is impressive. He's even done some Marvel movies. Busy guy. I'm talking about your favorite, Jude Law. <laughs> Do you disagree, Joseph? You don't think Jude Law should be on the top I 10 list? You, I thought you was going to say Robert Downey Jr. And you came up with some Jude Law? Yeah, Jude Law's been much better stuff than... Did you not see Sherlock Holmes? With the both yeah. of them? You know who's shining? You, you, know, you know who's shining in that movie? Who? Robert Downey Jr. I agree. But Jude Law beat out Robert De Niro on your top ten. Yes. 
Are you stupid? No, well, listen. Let's not kid ourselves. De Niro has made a lot of shit. He's made some really great epic movies, but he's also done a lot of garbage shit movies that I guess he did it just to, you know, pay the rent or whatever. But Jude Law only does quality work, is what I'm saying. Name besides Sherlock Holmes, name another movie he's been in. He did one where he was. You can't uh, get a movie. <laughs> Repossession was it? Repossession? Did you ever see that? He was oh, a repossession. No. It was like for body parts. It was a good movie with uh, who's the guy with the cock eye? This is your list, Daniel. You should have wrote this crap down. But you go off the top of your head. You're a top of your head kind of guy. That's right. <laughs> you ready for number two, Joseph? Ready for number two. And I don't mean taking a shit. I mean Leo DiCaprio. That's right. I know you watched him on that little TV show when he was a little Seaver boy that nobody expected. And they adopted him all the way to getting mauled by a bear and somehow surviving it. Did you see that movie where he's, he's messing around with a bear and the bear beats the shit out of him? Yes, I saw the movie. The Revenant? Yes. Did you ever see Shutter Island? Yes. Did you cry, Joseph? I don't remember the ending. Was it like he was thank he, the whole movie was a uh, he was crazy I, too. Yeah. He was pretending to be a cop because he was crazy. Yeah, I remember. It was a good movie. Uh Wolf of Wall Street's part of my favorite. Really? Yeah, he's got a great body of work. Yeah, great body of work. I mean, I don't agree. I don't disagree with him being in the top ten. But are you ready for my number one, Joseph? But here's the thing. Before you get to number one. Let's look at all the people that you have left out. You left. I don't know who your number one is. Hold on, hold on. You left out. This is a shitty list. Like you argue with me. See my top ten dynasties. Hold on. Legitimate people. People who follow sports will say, "Hey, this is a legitimate list." People who follow professional wrestling historians will say, "This is a legitimate list." The people that said. Or follow football. They would say, hey, you know what? I probably could agree with this list. You left out Marlon Brando. You left out Al Pacino. You left out Sylvester Stallone. You left out Frank Sinatra. Uh, I mean, uh, I can go on and on and on. People that won Academy Awards back before it got po politics was involved. That's so, me playing the, the invisible violin, Joseph. The Academy Awards meant something. And you left out all these great actors from Matthew McConaughey and, yes, and the right. guy from Baywatch. And I challenge anybody watching this video to deny that this list is by far the most accurate and concise best actors of our time top 10 list. And you ready for number one? I challenge this list. But go Since ahead. I put Lou Thez on a wrestling list. Number one, Raphael. The guy's been dead longer than he was ever alive. I can't wait to hear your number one. My number one. And this guy, when you think of bankability, when you think of his long list of hits, when you think his of the quality of his acting, the chops. I'm talking about the one and only Tom Cruise. Did you not see The Outsiders or Legend or any of the Mission Impossible? And guess who was the last samurai, Joseph? It wasn't Robert De Niro or Marlon Brando. It was Tommy Cruise. You're so glib like Matt Lauer, Joseph. You're so glib. You don't even know that Ritalin is a street drug. That's what he said on the Today Show when he was arguing with Matt Lauer. Which, by the way, he's not wrong. It's like one compound away from being cracked, but whatever. You should be ashamed of yourself. You don't agree, Joseph. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, we'll get back to your list in a minute. You remember, did you see that Facebook argument that I got on with that? That ugly girl 
what uh, your your niece's friend. She's still Facebooking. That's why you keep hearing that beat. Uh, to fill everybody in, uh, this girl who's mad at it. What's that food? The Latin, the Latin food brand. Uh, Gola. What was it called? Goya. Goya. Yeah, whatever. Uh, she's mad at that company for endorsing Trump, which they really didn't endorse Trump. They just basically said, look, we're not going to disrespect the president. Well, she, your niece basically has a friend that is, she looks like something of a horse. Uh, I don't know. Her, her, her name is something. I'm not going to say it online. But basically, she keeps uh, commenting about me calling me trash and calling me and saying a bunch of negative comments about me. Show some class, lady. She's probably watching this. So if you're watching this, uh, you I know you probably watch this at the zoo. Uh, oh, they so lock you up in cages. Uh, show some class. You know, it's time to grow up a little bit, okay? Sure. But, I thought you were pro-women. I am pro women, but she's not. I don't think she's a woman. She just has a woman's name. Joseph, did you see Tropic Thunder with Tom Cruise? Yes, I did. Yes, Would you not agree that he stole the goddamn movie? He he stole something. He hasn't stolen very many Oscars, but that's beside the point, Joseph. Okay, well that's the end of your list. Uh, l allow me to retort your list. Do you want me to go down my top 10 one more time? Number Please. 10, Please Kiefer Sutherland. Number 9, Benicio Del Toro. Number 8, David Hasselhoff, your favorite. Number 7, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Number 6, Bobby De Niro. Number 5, Mel Gibson. Number 4, your favorite, Matthew McConaughey. Number 3, Jude Law, because the guy deserves it. Number two, Leo DiCaprio. And number one, Thomas Cruz. Are you be befuddled, Joseph? No? Dude, tell you what, you can come up with your own top ten list we can dissect. Ah, you know what? We're going to leave the top ten actors alone. Uh, that's is official. On this show, Raphael and Joseph, we we made a top ten of the top ten best actors of all time. And uh, I said Robert, of our time, not all time. Oh, it's uh, our time. Okay, sorry. Top ten of our time. Uh, Robert De Niro was number six. It was in the top five. And Tom Cruise, the guy who was. The guy that was in covering in baby oil playing volleyball on the beach in the 80s and a movie gun, gun, which is a chick. Tell you what, let me ask this. Can you can you name a Tom Cruise bomb like a total dud in the box office? Go. As, I'll give you 20 as, minutes. As why I shut. That was still a hit. I, that bet, was you made over, I bet you made over a hundred million dollars. I doubt easily it. Google, easily Googleable. Tom Cruise is a bankable A-list star. He's got a bunch of Scientologist slaves. <laughs> so what? They knew what they were getting into. Somebody's got to flush that toilet. You better believe it isn't going to be Tom Cruise. <laughs> all right. So top 10 actors of all time. All right. We did it. Uh, do I endorse this list? No, it's going to be a lot of angry people with you. The four <laughs> people? The four people that are going to watch this, they're going to be very angry. I'm just going to say it's not my fault. It's your fault, Raphael. And by the way, are you? since you came up with this list, are you going to tell anybody about this episode? Of course. I tell everybody about that episode. Who do you think is watching all this stuff? Who do you think are giving you the millions and millions of hits? Huh? Who do you think bought that new Porsche you got sitting in your driveway? The fans. Now that you're a YouTube influencer, right? Yeah. Yeah, Raphael. All right. What's what the topic we... for next? Joseph. This was a bomb episode. I can't believe you just ruined the top ten. So Joseph, 
Are we going to do a political show next week? You want to do a political show next on the top ten? Yeah, we'll talk politics. We'll shoot the breeze about the news and stuff. So we're not going to have a list. Are we going? Are we? Are we going to have a new format for the show? We can make it a top ten list of things that happened in the last week. That sounds pretty good. Do it, Joseph. Or, of course, you can come up with a better WWE list or a better, w, I mean, greatest actor of our time list for the fans. At well, Carol, well, I, got, I got 400 million top tens we can probably talk about. But you know what? Maybe since we're not getting the views, Raphael, maybe we need to change the format. Maybe we need to go off the old noggin. I'm I'm getting a, a message from my producer in my ear. It says that number one should go to your wife for acting like she can put up with your shit. Wow. Here at Carolyn's Treasures, you can design your own belt. I'll be with my favorite team. We don't like Auburn around here, but if you do, we will make you one of our Auburn gym chip belts. Ooh, yeah, this is heavy. Don't forget our championship wings!